Now with an ABC News exclusive. Game of Thrones actress Esme Bianco says she was physically, emotionally, and sexually abused by rock star Marilyn Manson. And she sat down with Kaylee Hartung to discuss the allegations. And Kaylee, viewers should know the details are graphic. Yes, they should, George. And just as Esme Bianco was becoming a star on Game of Thrones, she now says that Marilyn Manson was turning her life into a nightmare. Several women have come forward in the past couple of weeks with similar allegations of abuse against the shock rocker. But Esme Bianco is the first woman to come forward and describe the horror she says she experienced on camera. I was a prisoner in his hell. Actress Esme Bianco first went public with allegations she'd been abused when she testified before the California State Assembly in 2019. The physical violence was most often disguised in acts of intimacy and was not consented to. At that time, she didn't name the man who she says was responsible. But today, that changes. Were you abused by Marilyn Manson? Yes, I was. How long did it take you to realize that's what was happening? Seven years after I left. Bianco's best known for her role in the hit series Game of Thrones. It's not easy for girls like us to dig our way out. But her career began as a model and burlesque performer in London. In 2005, she was introduced to Marilyn Manson, the controversial global rock star who she idolized as a teenager. How did you first come into Marilyn Manson's orbit? So I was introduced to him by his then fiance, Dita Fontes. When I spoke with him for the first time, the first words out of his mouth were, I've been a fan of yours for years. Over the next four years, she says they built a friendship based on their mutual interest in art and music. He gained her trust. Then in 2009, she says Manson asked her to star in a music video he was making and flew her from London to L.A. He told me that we were going to shoot it all on flip cam so that we could do it ourselves. That was like the beginning of the nightmare. This is when she says Manson was first violent with her. And it got to the stage where he wanted to shoot the finale of the video and he locked me in his bedroom and he tied me to a wooden prayer kneeler. I was half naked and he beat me with a whip and he filmed it. Bianco provided ABC News with this photo, which she says is her back marked with whip lashes after the incident. At any point, did you ask him to stop? No, I would never have dared to ask him to stop. Was there ever a point where you feared for your life? The entire time during that shoot. Over the following two years, she says their relationship became sexual. He would hide abuse by doing it during sex, basically. He always went too far, the biting. That was 100% non-consensual. And he would bite me till I was black and blue. Why continue to go back? I thought he was in love with me. I did not understand that what was happening to me was very, very wrong. And because he was incredibly manipulative. Why didn't I just run? What was I doing? It's not until we truly understand, you know, what psychological abuse and gaslighting does to somebody that you can fathom why I would have stayed. Then in 2011, with the promise of a committed relationship with Manson, she says she moved into his Los Angeles apartment. Bianco says months of controlling and abusive behavior by Manson culminated in one terrifying night. He thought I had put cockroaches in the walls to mess with him. And he took an ax and he started smashing holes in the walls. And then he started chasing me with the ax. And at that point, I thought he's going to kill me. ABC News spoke with a former assistant of Manson's, Ashley Walters, who said she saw Manson chase Bianco through the apartment with an ax and recalled seeing bruises on Bianco's body while she was living there. Bianco is the first of Manson's accusers to share her story on camera. But several women have come forward on social media, including actress Evan Rachel Wood, with similar allegations in the past two weeks. In response to those allegations, Manson released a statement categorically denying the claims against him. He calls them horrible distortions of reality. And his statement in part reads that his relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. It's disgusting that that is his response, that somehow we are the ones who misconstrued the whole situation. It's very indicative of the kind of man he is that I see him now to be, the monster that he is. Bianco's attorney provided a statement saying she's been interviewed by and given evidence to federal investigators about her allegations against Manson. Her lawyer says Manson's treatment of Bianco, including asking her to travel across international borders, 
constitutes human trafficking. I was defrauded. I was transported from the UK to the US. I was harbored and then I was coerced into involuntary servitude, and in, which included sexual abuse and physical abuse. How does it feel now to be able to name him? It's like a massive relief. At the same time, it's, it, it's terrifying. I'm still scared of him. I'm still scared of retaliation. Where do you find that strength? I think it comes from thinking about other survivors, perhaps. I can give strength to another survivor to go and report. I want people who are in this situation right now to know they're not alone and that it's not their fault. We reached out to Marilyn Manson and his representatives for comment, but we did not hear back. Esme Bianco tells me she is cooperating with law enforcement at their request because she wants Manson to see justice. She believes he should spend the rest of his life behind bars. George. Okay, Kelly, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.